Hey, it's Mike, and today I'd like to talk about Global Star Inc. This stock trades on the NYC and symbol GSAT. This stock was down a little over 1.5%, down to $1.74. However, it did move up $0.03 cents up to $1.77. You look over the past month, Global Star did have a pretty impressive rise up, and now it's beginning to move back down. If you look over the past six months, this was a sub uh, $1 stock. It had a pretty big rise up and then move back down. The market did perform really well yesterday. However, Global Star did not participate. So the question is, is this a dead stock? Um, and I say the answer is no. However, it still needs to move down a little bit more. It still needs to give back uh, more of these, these short-term gains that it had before it can find a base level of support and begin to move higher. The bottom line is, over the next decade, Global Star should be significantly higher because of the service it provides. But right now, it just needs to find a level of support. The 50-day moving average on Global Star is 98 cents, and it's sitting at 174. So it's still way, way above its 50-day moving average. I think it's going to find a base level support probably around the 130 to 140 level. So it still has a ways to go down. And I think that the next time we have a downdrift in the market, which may be you know, next week or the week after that, it'll probably find that level of support. And from there, we're probably going to have a rally, I believe, a big rally in the markets in April because that's uh, one of the strongest months of the years for equities. And I think at that point, Global Star can begin to rise up from a base that, it's, uh, that it creates in the month of March. Over time, though, I think the real, the real story here is over the next decade, I do believe Global Star will be a really big company maybe be 10 times the size of what it is right now. And that's because they provide um, satellite communication services to a bunch of different industries, government and public safety, transportation, energy, construction, commercial maritime, agricultural, forestry. Um, obviously, during 2020, probably not a lot of need for global satellite um, equipment because, you know, especially in transportation and commercial maritime, you didn't have a lot of uh, items goods moving across borders and around the world. But as the world reopens, we're going to have a bigger need for global satellite communications. And I definitely think a company like Global Star is going to find uh, a lot of business. And also moving forward, you know, satellite communications, still pretty expensive. But as satellite, as you get more satellites launched into space, as there's more competition, satellite services is probably going to be more affordable to the point that maybe the average consumer can afford their own satellite phone. Satellite phones for uh you know, for consumers is still really, really expensive. And only, you know, people who have a serious need for um, satellite phones will have them on, on a private basis. But on a commercial basis, um, it's almost a must to have satellite communications. I mean, if you have a shipping business, you want to be able to stay track with your ships and you have agriculture, forestry or whatever in places that you don't have good cell phone service, you want to make sure you can reach um you know, your fleet or your or your business. So I would definitely check out Global Star, but I, like I said, I still think it's going to move down a little bit more before it establishes a base and moves back up. So there's definitely, uh, like I said, something that you want to hold for about a decade um, and be able to ride the volatility. But um, definitely a company worth checking out. Keep it on your radar. Once again, Global Star trades on the MYC on the symbol GSAT. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock trading strategies. Thanks a lot.